God. Located in the northwest corner of Laguna Coast Wilderness Park is this cool little track called Lizard Trail. You know, at a mile in length, it's not going to be a whole ride, but um, it's pretty sweet and it may turn out to be the highlight of something much larger. There are quite a few options that you have in terms of where to park and start your ride at Wilderness Coast Park. I'm going to use the Bomber Ridge Trail entrance today, which is what I usually do. I like it because there's always enough parking, even on a busy day. There's a park right there with super clean bathrooms, which is really great for, you know, just getting changed before and after the ride or getting your PRD out of the way. Uh, and the other thing is, it's free. Uh, some of the places that you park around this area can charge as much as 15 bucks just to do a ride. So free parking, clean bathrooms, can't really beat that. After you cruise down Bomber Ridge for a little bit, you'll have to climb a short hill. It's not too hard. And once you get to the crest of that hill, it'll be downhill again until you come to the entrance of Lizard Trail up on your left. I've included links for both Trail Forks and MTV Project. Um, both sites rate Lizard Trail as being harder than intermediate. Now, yeah, I think the trail does deserve that rating and because the first, say, three, 400 yards is pretty steep and rocky and uh, definitely harder than in the intermediate. However, from that point on, the trail gets a lot easier and it really is probably something that I think we would call more of a, an advanced intermediate trail. It's pretty flowy. It's not a lot of rocks. I think even uh, an advanced beginner could handle the first part if they just took it slow. And uh, then the rest of the trail really is a piece of cake. gnarly and fun. Full-on jungle. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
tight squeeze. <laughs> oh shit, oh come on, yes, yes. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh god. So I know I said the rest of the trail is pretty much advanced intermediate and super easy, but there is this crazy rock that you've got to encounter about halfway through. I know people are riding it because I see the track marks on it and everything. Uh, but yeah, you'll probably have to get off and walk that one. Yes, so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard ends at a fire road called Laurel Spur, which if you take that and climb out to your right, uh, it will take you back to Bomber Ridge. And from Bomber Ridge, you can hit any other number of trails that you want in the park. Now, Lizard Trail itself, I think I mentioned earlier, is not that strenuous of, of a trail, but the climb to get back to Bomber Ridge it is kind of difficult. I'd, I'd rate it somewhere between moderate and, and actually strenuous. Some people who are beginners will find it strenuous. You may have to hike a little bit. 